Okay, a proposed solution to loss of biodiversity is the creation of protected areas. For a named protected area, so the first thing we've got to make sure is that we name something, we have to explain how it's designed to preserve species diversity, not just describe and evaluate. So there is a lot going on in this question, and it's worth only six marks for all of that. We've got to have a named area. The two named areas that you have studied have been Kungraben, mangrove forest, and Sambo Chalestari. Now for a reserve design, it's going to be a lot easier to come up with marks for Sambo Chalestari because you have the resource booklet that you've worked through that has maps and details on the design of Sambo Chalestari as a conservation area. So there we've named our area, so this is for one mark. So Sambo Chalestari, it would be helpful to get those marks for expression of ideas. It's located in Indonesia, okay, and it's an orangutan um, conservation project. Okay, so um, so this is the second mark, another mark there, um, maybe not. Okay, so this will help. This will help you with your expression of ideas marks, but it's not going to add in marks overall on this particular question. Now, how is it designed to preserve species diversity? Okay, so the first thing is that. Um, the central region is an orangutan sanctuary. And you have the thorny bamboo around the outside, so protecting this stops poachers. So now we're explaining. We haven't just said that it's a central region with thorny bamboo around it. We've explained why the thorny bamboo is there, okay? And this also um, stops the animals from leaving, so it keeps the animals in for their own safety. Okay, around the outside of here, you have the buffer zone, and this is really good um, for encouraging community participation. So we can have um, farming activities happening here. Um, we have the the palm, the sugar palm growing. So the reason for the buffer zone is to allow human activities to take place. So this is our explanation to engage the community. Now some other things that you might mention would be that we've got a flagship species. So lots and lots of awareness raising. Um, it's quite a famous place because Willy Schmitz gave the TED talk about it that you saw. So this is very effective at raising awareness if we've got this um, wonderful orangutan um, species. We've also got the shape of the um, reserve. It's round, okay, so that's really maximizing the surface area to volume. So we've got this central region and then the buffer zone around it as opposed to perhaps a long and thin area where that would give us a lot more edge and less center. So the shape, so we've got the shape, and we would explain about the center, the edge effects would be our explanation. Now, that's quite a lot of marks there already. We've got the Sambuchalastari example for one mark. We've got this um, 
central region, okay, so that's two marks with an explanation. We've got the buffer zone, okay, and encouraging community. Um, we've got the shape and um, why we have that shape. We've got the flagship species and raising awareness. We've already exceeded the six marks that is assigned for this question, but remember in this question, we have to evaluate as well as dis, um, explain and state the name. So in order to evaluate, some of the things that are um, limited about this reserve is that outside of the reserve, there is no orangutan habitat. So ideally, we would build more reserves and link them together by corridors, but that's currently lacking. Um, poaching still goes on, so we've still got poaching, maybe not in the reserve, but overall, you know, the reserve is just a small, small impact um, for preserving species diversity. And um, in ways that it's successful, so those are two limitations, it's been very successful in engaging the community. Um, bringing them in, letting their laws and their society, their culture, lead the way in how this project is done. And also we have got a large number of orangutans protected in the sanctuary. They have actually succeeded in protecting these particular orangutans. So that is a successful element. So that's about another four marks there of, um, for the evaluation part of it. So there's lots and lots of marks to be got for this question once you break apart the different elements that the question is asking you for.